Hey, this is Miss Sebastian, and we're going to look at Study Island um, topic unit rate and constant of proportionality. The table below shows the salvage value for raw steel. Based on the information in the table, what is the price per ton for raw steel? So on the left here, we see the tons of steel for zero. The salvage value is a is zero dollars, which means if you don't bring them any, you don't get any. Okay, if you have two tons of steel, you make $520. Four tons of steel, you make $1,040, and so on. So we want to know the price per ton. So we're going to put the price per is another word for division. Oops, sorry, that looks funny. Let's try that again. Division. And so we're going to divide that by the ton. So we're going to look here at two. We could pick any of these numbers. But we're going to look at number two. For two tons of steel, we get $520. And then per, which is that division sign, the tons of steel. So $520 for two tons of steel. And I'm going to divide that. Two goes into five, two times, with one left over. Two goes into 12, six times, with none left over. And two goes into zero, zero times. So that is $260 per one ton. I can double check it with any of these here. I'm going to use this 10 down here because I like to divide by 10. It's a lot easier than the others. So I'm going to do that money again because price per ton. So 2600 divided by 10 tons. When I divide by 10, I can just cancel out those zeros and I do still end up with that 260 per one ton. So our answer would be A. The diagram below shows the amount of three different chips for a large cookie recipe. So chocolate chips, I say one cup, two cups, three cups. I'm going to write down three cups over here. And then for peanut butter chips, I have one, two and a half. So I'm gonna write two and a half cups. And then the last one is one and three quarters or 1.75 cups. I know that these answers down here are in fractions, so we will go back to that. Um, and I will also put fraction equivalent up here, just so that we've got them, okay? So use the diagram in, or use the information in the diagram to complete the statements below. So there are blank cups of chocolate chips per cup of butterscotch chips. So remember, per means divide. So chocolate chips is going on top up here. For chocolate chips, we had three cups and butterscotch chips. That was our bottom one down there. It's one and three quarters. Okay, and I need to make this where it's equal to one on the bottom. Okay, and I can do that just by dividing three divided by one and three quarters. Now, if you are not comfortable um, doing that division in your head, you can um, do it by dividing those fractions. Three divided by one and three quarters. Four times one is, five, is four plus three is seven. So seven fourths. And this is an improper fraction that is equal to one and three fourths. And when we are dividing a fraction, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So divide changes to multiply, and 7 fourths to 
and just to 4 over 7. Remember, a fraction is always over 1. You can multiply across the top. 3 times 4 is 12. 1 times 7 is 7. And we can simplify that by saying 7 goes into 12 one time with 5 left over. So 1 and 5 sevenths would be the amount of chocolate chips in um, or per each cup of butterscotch. I'm going to change my color just so it's easy to um, follow along here. So we've got butterscotch per peanut butter. So we know that butterscotch was one and three quarters. And I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that as seven fourths just to uh, help us out there. And then over two and a half. So two and a half is the same as five over two. So now, remember, I'm going to divide these. And when I divide here, I leave the first one, change the divide to a multiply, and change the five halves to its reciprocal, which is two fifths. Seven times two is 14. Four times five is 20. 20. So I can go ahead and put that here. Okay, I don't see that option. Hmm, maybe I need to simplify it. So what can go into 14 and 20? Both of them can be divided by two. So if I divide the top by two, I get seven. If I divide the bottom by two, I get 10. That was a great example of sometimes we have one more step we didn't think about. So seven tenths. Okay. Now, I'm going to look at my last one. Let's see. So, peanut butter chips per chocolate chips. So, peanut butter was two and a half. I'm going to go ahead and write that as five halves. Remember, that's two and a half per cup of chocolate chips. So, we know that's divided by three. So we're going to rewrite it as 5 halves divided by 3. Remember, a fraction is always over 1 if you don't see a number there. Because how many times does 1 go into 3? Three? 3 times. So we leave the first number. We change the divide to a multiply, and we flip the second. 5 times 1 is 5. 2 times 3 is 6. So we have five, six cups of peanut butter chips per cup of chocolate chips. Now the biggest thing to remember here is the order. If you see per, that is a divide sign. And here, peanut butter came first, peanut butter divided by the number of chocolate chip. Okay, so just remember the order on those is what matters. Tanya is training the turtle for the turtle race. For every two-thirds of an hour that the turtle is crawling, he can travel three twenty-seconds of a mile. What unit rate is the turtle crawling? So if it doesn't tell you in your question of what unit you're using, whether it be um, mile or hour, look at your answer choices here. These say mile per hour. So we're going to put our miles on top. So 3 over 22 per, remember, means divide. You can write it like this, over 2 thirds, or you could write it as 3 22nd divided by 2 thirds. Now, Remember when you're dividing a fraction, you leave the first one, you change the divide to a multiply, and you flip the second. And then all you have to do is multiply straight across. So 3 times 3 is 9, 22 times 2 is 44. 
remember our um, it is miles per hour there so we have 9 44 mile per hour Mrs. Daniels, an English teacher, is having her students count the number of words in a book. She took the data and created the graph below. What is the rate of words per page? So we're going to look at the word count divided by the page count. So I'm going to look, I see a point here that's not quite exact oh here we go right there um i was looking for where the pink line there is right on the corner of those squares so i can get an exact number there so i'm gonna have it says this is the thousands so three thousand words and remember per page so per is divide, and that is 10 pages. Okay, so what I'm going to do here to simplify, because I want the rate, I want the unit rate. I'm going to say 3,000 divided by 10. Well, I know when I divide, I can just cancel out those two zeros, and I'm left with 300 words. Per page. Mike is making a nut mixture for an upcoming camping trip. He makes the mixture by combining one third a cup of cashews and one quarter cup of almonds. If he wants to add cashews and almonds in the same ratio to make 28 cups of the mixture, how many cups of cashews and almonds will he need? So I know that he has to have a total of 28 cups, okay? In the mixture, he's got a third of a cup and a quarter of a cup. So I want to know how much he has just with those two, okay? So I'm going to add those together. Well, to do that, I have to have a common denominator. And I know that 3 and 4 have a common denominator of 12. So 3 times 4, that would make it 4 on top. Okay, times 4. And on the right one, I have to multiply by 3. So 4 plus 3 is 7. So he has 7 twelfths a cup before he starts anything, okay? So 7 twelfths, and I want to multiply that, I'm sorry, I want to take 28 cups and divide it into 7 twelfths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my first one, change the divide to a multiply, remember it's always over 1, and flip that second fraction. Now, I can simplify before I go here. I know that 7 and 28 are both divisible by 7. So I can uh, multiply those that way. To simplify, 4 times 12 is 48, and 1 times 1 is 1, so it's equal to 48. And that is... Um, sets of the mixture. Okay, now with that 48 sets, I'm not done because now I figured out how many times he needs to put a third of a cup of cashews in and a quarter of a cup of almonds. I need to do it 48 times. So now I'm going to take my one third and I'm going to multiply it by 48. And I'm going to do the same for my one quarter. And I'm going to simplify these. I know that 3 and 48 are divisible. So 1 times 16 is 16. And 1 times 1 is 1. So I need 16. And that 1 third was cashews. 
And then I'm going to do the same down here. That 4 and 48 are divisible. 4 goes into 48 12 times. So 1 times 12 is 12. 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, so we have 12 almonds. So I need to make 16 cups of cashews and 12 cups of almonds. A store sells four t-shirts for $37.64. What is the unit cost per t-shirt? So I will see cost per t-shirt. I'm going to take $37.64. Per means divide, and the number of t-shirts. So I'm just going to um, do my long division here. Four goes into three, it can't. Four goes into 37, nine times, and that gives me 36. Bring down my six there. Four goes into 16, four times. Bring down the four. Four goes into four, one time. Now, I do need to make sure that I bring my decimal straight up from where it was. And I come out with $9.41 per t-shirt. 